Take the bass line out. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. Let it bump though. Tyler and Caitlin. Not really much going on. This is almost turning more into a story about Butch this week than anything else. Um, I don't know. The one thing that I did think was kind of funny is that, uh, you know, the mom came back from Vegas and it, I just thought it was funny how fast she shut down as soon as they started bringing up, you know, Carly's birthday. I don't know. Once again with them, it just seems more of the same old, same old. They just seem to get stuck in this kind of trend. I don't know what the deal is with that. So let's move on. Macy. Um, you know, just pretty much two notes for you. Um, one, you know, what is it with these single parents? It, it's like they never take the time to think that someday my kid's going to grow up and start connecting the dots and realize my parents are buttholes. And then on top of that, it's like you know that once, it, once that kid's in his teens starts doing that, that more than likely he's probably going to at some point turn around and use it on you if he really feels like doing that. You know, I, it's, it just seems to me like single parents sometimes just don't really think. And on top of that, uh, you know, point number two is that it's like you're getting ready to take Ryan. Well, Ryan's taking you to court technically, but you're going to go to court. And it's like your whole plan to defend yourself is I'm just going to make him look like a fool. You know, talk about how foolish she is. Well, I'm sure the court somewhat expects that to begin with, but that's just kind of a dumb defense if you ask me. I'm... I don't know. I've never been a part of a custody battle, so I'll, maybe that's the way they do things. But to me, it just sounds kind of dumb. Um, let's move on to Farrah. Uh, you know, Farrah at the beginning of the episode was trying to make her own clothes, which I guess that's an admirable try, maybe. Um, you know, I'm no Martha Stewart, but it seems to me that that little rinky-dink Fisher Price-looking sewing machine that she has probably isn't going to work. You know, I mean, she's going through gene material. Like I said, I'm no genius, but I don't really think that something like that's going to work. I think you would need almost something industrial-sized, big piece of equipment. And on top of that, shouldn't she have some kind of, like, pattern? Depending on what kind of clothes that she's wanting to make, it seemed like she just took two pieces and started trying to run it through there. I don't think it works that way, necessarily. I mean, shouldn't you have some kind of a game plan as to what you're doing and how you're sewing it, rather than just running it through there? I don't know. Uh, she also went to do uh, the uh, paternity test, which is good, um, you know, to get some more money to help her out with Sophia. I, I guess that's all right. I, technically, she's entitled to it. Well, not really her. Sophia is entitled to it, but, I mean, she'll be the one to get the money. Uh, let's just hope that she uses it wisely and uses it for the right reason. Um, you know, the thing about it is that cracked me up is that, you know, it's like the, the lab, the go get that done was like right next to a cash advance. Uh, you know, I'm just curious what else was in that block, because by the looks of it, by the, you know, just judging from the little snapshot that they showed, I wouldn't be surprised that there was, like, maybe, I don't know, a pawn shop around there, maybe a liquor store, gun store, um, you know, maybe they're taping Maury down the road, considering that there's a pawn shop there, you know, I, you got me, it, I don't know, it just looked a little shady, but, you know, whatever, you gotta do what you gotta do, so I, I guess go get it done. Uh, last we, lastly, we've got um, Amber, and where the heck do we start with her? She's a, once again, she's being a complete idiot. I don't know what has crawled up her butt and died, but th this is just ridiculous. I mean, with the way that she's going, she's going to end up in so much freaking problems and so much trouble, it won't even be funny. Uh, first of all, so she tries to pull this power play with Gary of, oh, well, you can stay here as long as you're paying me. Yeah, because you don't have a job, and it's like, now I don't know if MTV necessarily pays the girls or if the money that they get paid goes into like a college fund for the kids or a, I don't know how they do it. I'm sure that they get something out of the show. Point being is, is that it's like she's not working any kind of regular job right now, so it's like, you know, she's going to be up a creek without a paddle here in no time, and she's just going to be totally screwed. If she doesn't watch out, she'll end up homeless. And then on top of that, it ends up getting even better. This is, I, I thought this was just ridiculous. She's going and learning how to fight? It's not like she's trying to, like, become a UFC fighter or something like that. But, you know, it's like, she's going to, like, learn how to fight. It's like, what, what are you going to do? Are you, 
you're gonna fight Gary? It's not like he's a violent person. He didn't even come at you. Yeah, it's like she, later on in the episode, she's like all up in his face, threatening him to like punch him and all that. I'm no genius, but I don't think that's a smart move with a bunch of cameras running. You know, if she ends up starting to beat the crap out of him or something like that, it's like all, when it comes to a custody battle, when they split, because I think that that's probably going to be inevitable by the looks of it. Yeah, you know, all Gary's got to do is just turn around and start showing episodes of the show where she's beating the crap out of them, especially if she ends up really getting into it here soon, you know, and it'll be game over, you know? It's like she's, she's going to risk the chance of never seeing her kid again. Yeah, she might even spend some time in jail for a little while for, for being violent like that. You know, I mean, the fact of the matter is, is that it's like she, she needs to get her game straight and she needs to do it now or else... She's gonna, she, she's running the potential for some serious problems. It's, I don't know what the hell she's thinking, but, you know, she better get it figured out here soon. Once again, she's a straight up idiot. Take the baseline out. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let it bump, though. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 